Hello, Yankees fans. Like always, it is Felix from Remember1News.com. Hola, como estas? So the Yankees have officially benched Gary Sanchez. They are really giving him three days off to supposedly gather his thoughts. But in my opinion, by benching Gary, you eliminate really his next option, which is, let's say, you DH him, keep him in the lineup. Let him take a few swings here and there. And really the next option for the Yankees, if it continues to struggle after he gets these three days off, is obviously sending him down to the minors. The type of player that Gary Sanchez is, I don't see it as, let's say, a confidence boost. I see benching it as an insult to Gary Sanchez. And people might say it's just a day off or another day off. In, in total, really, it's three days off. Let him get the rest. But the type of player Gary Sanchez is, he doesn't look like that type of player that if you bench him, he's just going to say, hey, I'm going to do what's best for the team. He reminds me of one of these players that is really going to get insulted by the Yankees benching him because it sends a signal to Gary that the Yankees don't have confidence in him. and really. When you've been getting nagged as a player because of your defense, I'm pretty sure he hears it every day. It's not a real good confidence booster for Gary because, like I said, his defense has not been solid. And to throw in that he's not offensively performing has to be a huge confidence destroyer for Gary. In my opinion, the Yankees should have put him in that DH spot. John Colo Stanton is making twenty to twenty-five million dollars a year. So if I were the Yankees, you're paying you're paying all that money for a player to be really your DH or have that DH spot guaranteed for him. When obviously Gary Sanchez, really, if you look at him, can be a DH. And like I said, if he is one of your best hitters, you don't bench him. You just put him out there every day. And let's say, really, just have him DH and let him find himself. Because now the next option is, if he struggles for a week or two weeks more after the benching, the other alternative is to send him down to the minors. I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, benching Gary Sanchez. Sure, he needs to rest. But the dude is batting 190. It's going to be really hard for Gary to even reach 230 to 220. Imagine if he just struggles just a bit, he might reach 170. And at this point, he's even leading all catchers in Major League Baseball with all-star votes, or maybe the AL. And really, he's in line to start the all-star game for the American League, which is pretty ridiculous. But you can see how Gary Sanchez's ego might be hurt by, let's say, the Yankees not having confidence in him. Because everybody likes Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez is a household name. So this benching to me personally, in my opinion, looks like the Yankees don't have confidence in Gary Sanchez. And he knows that the Yankees don't have confidence in him. And in my opinion, it might have the negative effect that the Yankees are looking for. Maybe they're hoping to bench Gary Sanchez and it lights a fire under him. But in my opinion... Like I said in my previous video, Gary Sanchez reminds me of these Manny Ramirez type of players that really, if you insult him a bit, he's just going to find ways to, let's say, get back at you. So I hope I'm wrong. I hope Gary Sanchez snaps out of his slump. But if he does slump after this benching, the only option really is to continue to bench him or send him down to the minors. But I like the alternative of just plugging him at DH because that's really the only alternative you have if you don't want to send him down to the minors. Also, another player talking about the minors, Brandon Drury, looks like he's not enjoying his time in the minors. He was quoted as saying that he doesn't belong in the minors. So the Yankees might be shipping Brandon Drury pretty soon. It wasn't Drury's fault. This team is stacked. The Yankees need to make some moves to, let's say, 
not have Brandon Jury take these buses everywhere in the minor league system. I'm pretty sure he was used to taking these planes everywhere. And a player of the caliber of Jury really, in my opinion, doesn't deserve to be running away down there in the minor leagues. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. I know we can all agree that giving Gary Sanchez time off was the obvious thing to do. But um, if he struggles after the benching, let's say if he struggles for a week or two more weeks, where do you see Gary Sanchez going? Do you see him heading to the minor leagues, or do you see the Yankees really starting Romine over Gary Sanchez or giving him that DH spot? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. And remember, if you have a YouTube channel, you talk about the Yankees, send your content to NY Insider at Twitter, and I will feature you. So, Yankees fans, again, this has been Felix. I'll check you out next.